This interesting structure is an abandoned wasp nest. You're probably familiar with these structures. Many species of wasps create them. They are made from a paper-like material. Wasps create this paper from wood. The workers gather small pieces of fiber from exposed wood. Untreated lumber, like the logs in this log home, are ideal. The sun and weather weaken the fibers. The workers use their mandibles to break off small pieces. They carry these pieces back to the colony where they are chewed and processed to create a wet paste. This pulp is used to construct the paper. During the summer I observed the wasp while they created this nest. These insects are white-faced hornets, a large wasp. Inspect the peak of the roof behind me and you will see a remarkable structure. This is the home of a colony of white-faced hornets. I'm going to put on some protective clothing so I can safely take the camera closer to these stinging insects. I'm placing the camera on a platform bolted to the top of a stepladder. With the camera focused on the entrance of the colony, we can see lots of activity. Moving closer, we can see one of the wasps fanning. She is using her wings to ventilate the colony. You can hear the hum from her wings. The activity is relentless. Many of the returning workers are bringing back food, mostly small insects and fruit pulp. This food is processed and fed to the developing larva. Some of the workers are also returning with wood fiber, material that is used to construct the paper nest. This wood fiber is chewed to a fine consistency and then mixed with saliva to create a wet pulp. This wasp has attached a row of wet pulp to the edge of a sheet. You can see the new material. It looks wet. She is using her mandibles to flatten the pulp into a thin sheet. When she gets to the end, she returns to start over and flatten it some more. Meanwhile, another wasp approaches. She is carrying a ball of wet pulp. And she knows where to go to continue the construction. She attaches her load of pulp and starts spreading it further along the edge of the sheet. Flattening and spreading the wet material, she extends the sheet of paper. This flattening process is repeated two or three times. The end product is a thin, strong sheet of paper. The hive continues to expand until cold weather arrives. At the first frost, the workers and male bees perish, leaving hibernating queens to continue in the spring. The nest is deserted. Modern paper making began in China during the Han Dynasty. It is believed that paper wasps provided the inspiration for this process. There's always something interesting going on in our backyards. For more science and technology videos, visit our website, hyloroad.com. Follow the videos link.